Stockton's first food truck park is now getting ready to close. The park's owners say that the city has put so much pressure on them that they feel that there's no choice now. But the city has a different story. In case CRE 3's Jason Marks looked into whether the city's solution is enough to keep the park open. We all uh, worked very hard on this. Stocklandia was a first for the city of Stockton. One combo. A parking lot converted into a food truck park. We got a great response from the community. Everybody loved it. It opened October 2019. We'd have anywhere any given day from five to eight, you know, um, all different types. Giving the trucks a safe place to operate. It's hard out there on the streets. You know, you're always like fighting for a spot. You have to move every three, four hours. Things were going really well. From day one, we were doing incredible business. That was until March. The negative feedback from the city, which was just nonstop and has been nonstop. Soon after, all those trucks that were there were scared off. Having the inspectors come inspect you every day, the food trucks don't like that. And so with that happening, they don't want to be here. The issue has been talked about inside city hall walls for months. Uh, yeah, Staff yeah. says for starters, there's not an ordinance on the books for food truck parks. They tell KCRA 3 they received several complaints about traffic, noise and parking after the park opened. The concerns that were expressed uh, are, you know, issues that have been created as a result of that uh, particular activities that were occurring. Stocklandia opened on a six month temporary permit. But when that was up for renewal, it was denied by city staff. So your preference would be to shut it down tonight. Staff wanted to pull the plug on the business, Everything but the complaints were unfounded. And hearing from the police department that we really don't have traffic problems, that we don't have cr crime problems, and that I, I, I have a hard time just shutting somebody down. The city is now working on drafting an ordinance for food trucks. What we're trying to do is make sure that the use, like any other land use, is compatible with the area. The owners of Stocklandia say the damage has been done. The money used to pay rent has run dry and now they're forced to close. Well, they need to be more supportive and, and work with small businesses, especially small businesses that are made up of people from this community. Thank you. In Stockton, Jason Marks, KCRA 3 News. So the owners do plan to go before city council next month and the council will decide if they can operate in the city. The owners say there's a possibility that they could make that business work in a different location.